two, three, funk it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. my channel it has been a minute since i've brought you guys a fashion video and i have bought a lot of things since that minute please let me know how you guys like this video let's go ahead and get to the haul let's go also just want to add please forgive me for the glare that you will see in my glasses i lost my last pair of contacts and so now we are stuck with these uh these are prescription they're not for fashion so yeah i apologize you guys and have some more contacts on the way so y'all don't have to deal with that i'm sorry without further ado let's go ahead and get into this haul so with it getting warmer outside i do want to start with like uh my skirts and my shorts if you watch this channel you've probably seen some of these things i've worn quite a bit of it that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to wear your clothes okay so the first pair of shorts that i have are these little mini white shorts they are literally what the people of the past would have called hot pants and so what that means if you don't know they're the pants that like really like ride up like your cheeks are hanging out a little bit maybe if you have some uh the hips kind of come out and that's what i like about them i'm not sure if i'm brave enough to wear them out without like a layer over but if i like go to the beach or something like that or somewhere where it's like acceptable to walk around with your little cheeks out then i'll definitely do that but i love these because they add like a retro vibe to any outfit and you guys know if it's a retro vibe jordan is there uh the next thing i have are these little like knickers bloomers whatever you want to call them they actually are vintage and i found them um from a seller on etsy really easy to find just type in like um uh, vintage bloomers vintage knickers beware like don't get the little kid kind because there are kind for kids but um i'm pretty sure these were supposed to go under dresses and stuff like when the dresses were really short oh, i'm going to wear them without anything over it it's the little ruffles for me okay i absolutely am in love with the little ruffles it's such a whimsical look very like um over the chemtrails lana del rey and i'm i'm living for it i'm dramatic therefore i like dramatic clothing this is actually from urban and the next thing that i'm going to show you is from urban as well i know there's a lot of controversy about shopping at urban i know it's like for basic people i guess call me basic then because they be having some cute stuff sometimes okay that can be a bit pricey but i do like urban's quality and stuff like that and they do a good job at pulling off the vintage look but it not being vintage and so i found this little green skirt and it's got pink in it which you guys know is my favorite combination of all time but i also thought it was really interesting because the little buckle i highly recommend if you do buy from like places like this make sure you're gonna wear the heck out of that item and let's get rid of the stigma of like not wearing something a million times and i'm guilty of that too but i'm starting to really not care so if y'all see me in something like with a major print like this and y'all see it on my gram like 10 million times don't say nothing because i'm wearing my ish okay like i don't even care anymore there's very little i care about nowadays and me wearing the same skirt on instagram all the time is definitely not one of them anymore but speaking of skirts i also have this skirt this skirt has seemed to have broken the internet on instagram it is from zara i in the past strayed far away from things this colorful and with this much print but now that i've had my neutrals built up in my closet it's time for me to like add some more wild pieces which is why you see so many different prints because that's something that was really lacking in my closet due to um my funds that i had in college they was low so your girl wore neutrals that make it look like i had different outfits okay this is from urban outfitters as well i've actually gotten lots of compliment on these shorts like on instagram i've only worn them on my story so far but uh, again they did a really good job at making them look vintage first of all they make my booty <sighs> the booty is in these shorts okay and that is number one why i love these and i didn't even try them on in the store and they're like amazing um we're gonna gear like switch gears from clothes and we're gonna talk about some accessories that i've gotten that i'm obsessed with trust me i have lots more clothes to go through um sit tight so let's talk about 
these glasses so these are vintage honey vintage i've always loved vintage but i don't think i've emphasized that enough on my channel like i don't thrift just to get second hand i thrift because i want vintage this i found on etsy um these are from the 80s my mom said but the seller said they were 70s which is what i was going for but either way they do have that 70s look even if they are 80s i'm not upset they do have kind of some scratches on it which you kind of have to be aware of from um etsy I did kind of pay a bit much for them considering uh their quality they're not bad quality but the way the seller was talking them up i just expected way more uh they're definitely going to be a go-to for me for summer the next thing that i got if you guys watch my uh little favorites video i put these crocs in it these are not just regular crocs these are platform crocs which is super amazing super cute they're also tie-dye and pastel at that which really sold me they're very comfy and you guys know whenever I get a chance to be different, I'm going to try to be different and these were very different. They're so cute. Okay, so let's hand it on over to Nike. I bought so many shoes during quarantine and I've really slowed down, but my boyfriend actually won these for me on the sneakers app. He's very lucky when it comes to the sneakers app. I don't have that kind of look, but he does. So he actually won me some of these he won me some dunks these are a really good colorway because they go with a lot and uh dunks are cheaper than uh jordans so decided to go with that but i'm very excited to be able to wear these these are my new babies okay you guys these are literally the best shoes in my opinion that i'm gonna show you guys this entire video i've shown you guys like a million times every chance i get because i've been trying to put people on okay so you guys know the naked wolf shoe right the little mule it's super thick it's crazy and it's so cute i was obsessed but ain't no way i'm about to buy those i'm just I just can't wrap my mind around it so what i found were these amazing dupes and they're actually kind of more wearable than the naked wolf ones because the heel is like quite a bit shorter the platform quite a bit shorter and they're actually very comfy they go with so much like i can throw them on right now so bomb with socks like are we i promise you they fit are we here for like socks and sandals this summer because i'm here for socks and sandals this summer so many people like have bought these when i showed them on my story and i know they sell out often so if you guys are looking for them go now because i don't think they stay in stock too well okay next up i have these beauties right here um i've been talking about these for like the past couple of months but the last time i mentioned and suggested these shoes to you guys it was in a shop with me and came in quite yet they are very brats doll and i love platform sandals and i love the strappiness of them and baby let me tell you how they look when i got my legs oiled up toes out and they white y'all what a combination i'm not gonna lie to you you may break your ankle you may break your ankle in these shoes but like if you're just going somewhere to be cute real quick and you're gonna be sitting down um i highly suggest these i'm obsessed all right let's move on to dresses and then we'll work our way back over here when i saw this i just knew i had to have it uh it's like an orange and white gingham ruffle dress and then the best part about it if it's not cute enough for you in the front baby you gotta see the back it's about the back for me if you want to sell me a dress cut the back out just chop it off because i will buy it not only the back is out the string detail it's such a flouncy beautiful dress like i just have to go on a picnic and it's giving come frolic with me uh in the grass in the in the flatland i have not worn this yet but i cannot wait to wear it this season is like summer dresses and i guess it's because no one's really had a reason to wear a dress within the last year so we going crazy like ain't nobody trying to wear mom shorts or high-waisted shorts all summer everybody is looking for like those sun dresses this one right here i actually got at clado's closet i was so shocked i just didn't think that they were gonna have anything that i wanted and i walked around and girl i found this actually um by the brand rampant rampage and that's like a early 2000s brand so at this point this is vintage but it's kind of sheer and it's got these little lavender flowers on it like it's like slip dress of your dreams 
and I definitely plan on like pairing it with like some sandals like this. Oh, now we have this cute little number. So uh, my friend on Instagram actually sent this over to me. I bought it, but I'm saying she had it on her story and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And she was thrifting and she literally had two. I didn't know she had two. I was just telling her it was cute. And then she was like, oh my gosh, I found two. And I'm like, girl, I didn't know you lying. You found two? Okay, it's meant to be. That other one is for me. And wow, so cute. It is the perfect print and it's vintage. Love that. Uh, she actually has a Depop. I will link that below and put like the name of it. But she finds the cutest little thing. She's the Y2K queen. I plan on wearing it with Hear Me Out like some yellow tights in those white uh, platform sandals y'all saw. Let me know if you guys want a random styling video. I kind of want to take like my favorite pieces for the season and just be like, y'all, let's style. Let's see what we can come up with. And so let me know if you guys want to see that because I don't want to waste my time, but like that's something I'm interested in doing. But so cute. Love it. These things right here, I've literally been obsessing over and you guys can probably tell because if you follow my socials, You've seen me in it a million times and you, for the price that I paid, you will see me in it a million more times. Like I said, I don't care about y'all seeing statement things over and over again. I'm wearing my stuff. Uh, this pink jumpsuit, wow. So this is the famous Peachy Den jumpsuit. Um, the day I saw it, I knew I needed it. Shoot, I knew I needed more than one. Yes, this thing fits like a glove, honey, and it's so retro. It's so tight. Like it just fits you everywhere. Like. You can even see my belly button hole when I wear this. It's a statement, but I want something I can wear more often. So I got this black one as well, which is absolutely adorable. This one, my boyfriend loves. Like he liked this one, but when he saw this one, he was like, oh yes, ma'am. Okay, he didn't say it like that. But he was like, ooh, and I was like, ooh. But yeah, it's a lurk, honey. Y'all, it is all about the jumpsuits. It is all about the rompers, the play suits. Let me tell you, these have always been my favorite things, but because 70s was not trending, they were so hard to find like cute ones. They have not like done like the cute fitted ones like I'm showing y'all today until now, which is why I'm spending so much money. Before I did not spend this much money on clothes, but with the 70s trending and that being my favorite era, they've got me, you guys. I've been buying everything because this isn't going to last and I just need to keep these things in my arsenal because I'm going to wear these things forever. This Zara play suit, so cute. I actually planned to wear it on a picnic, but I didn't get to wear it because it, it was a little cold outside. But it's coming, y'all. So you're actually supposed to wear it zipped up, which I think is kind of fugly. So um, I decided that I was going to zip it down and like fold it over like a collar. I think this would be so cute if I like go and play tennis or something. Even though my cheeks, they, they be pushing it a little bit in this little set. But it's very cute, very neutral. It almost looks like I'm going swimming in the 60s, but I don't mind. I'm always here for that kind of vibe. So yeah, very adorable. Uh, another vintage piece. Now this is something that has been on my wish list for a little minute now. Always wanted a floral blazer, just never happened upon one myself. Crazy, right? I know. But yeah, I've never found one myself. So I actually found a seller on Depop and uh, bought this one. It's not linen, but it's got like the linen look. But the pastel flowers on it, literally perfect. It's oversized, which is exactly what I was looking for. And it's just going to be so pretty for spring and summer. Let's um, switch back to accessories. All right, we're about to start with this baby right here because she is a beaut. Do y'all... I'm going to mess up my hair and I'm going to regret this, but I got to do it anyway. I don't have to say much about this. We can see that this is iconic. I actually first saw, um, I don't know if you guys follow Delaney Childs, but I saw her wearing this on her story and I was like, oh my gosh, that hat is so cute, but she had like the light green one. And so I followed the page and they were actually nice enough to reach out and be like, hey girl, do you want a hat? And I'm like, yes, I wanted one anyway. But uh, it's from a brand called uh, Happy For Fun. She's an upcoming like designer and she is killing it, okay? Like, I think Vanessa Hudgens had uh, the black version on and everything. And they're not like any cowboy hat I've ever seen. I mean, obviously, um, it's customized. It's really good for, like, summer because it's, like, kind of a 
plasticky feel but like a really thick plasticky not like the kind you get at party city and you buy you know you and your crew some plastic cowboy hats no it's like nice it's really nice and i love how it sits on my head hold on i don't play about the fro it is going to be a bikini cowboy boots and cowboy hat summer and i'm just here to let y'all know okay let's see what we have next yeah that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna we're just gonna grab all of these there's so many clothes i didn't know i had this many first i've got this top right here so i just needed something really basic but really cute and it basically ties in the front and i've already told you guys how i feel about an open back so that's just what makes this shirt like the icing on the cake you can wear like the classiest outfit and then come out and be like bam and then boom we're getting back so the next thing if you guys follow chelsea as of late on instagram or tiktok then you guys know that her style is very cute she is a new york girl and she is a fellow afro latina but she actually reached out to me and showed me this shirt and she was like this screams you and i was like um you're so right and i didn't even know it was silk at the time you guys know how i feel about silk but the colors literally my two top favorite colors in one shirt the groovy print and then it's silk baby it can't get more jordan than that but we've got this green jacket right here it's very much grinch well it's a sweater it's very much grinch um and also <laughs> i don't even want to bring this up because i know y'all thinking it i know y'all thinking it so somebody went on my instagram and i posted like a photo dump and i had this on in it and they commented and they said <laughs> they asked me if this was a house of sunny sweater it's not quite as elite but it's actually really cute for the price and i had to say i had to say no okay they put me out and i had to say in my comments no it is not a house of sunny sweater i'm saving my coins for one though i was embarrassed like it felt like that time when i posted a video and i was thinking i was cute and i posted a little reel on instagram and i'm walking and somebody commented and said you can't walk and i was just like I mean, it's true, I can't walk, but that doesn't mean y'all had to say something about it. Like, it is what it is. I'm very open about, like, what I'm willing and not willing to buy. And so, if you're watching this, girl, I, I don't mind, really, that you asked. It was just funny to me, because I was like, I gotta tell everybody, this is not House of Sunny. Not that I was pretending it was. The next piece I have is this pink like satin looking top and it's got lace trim on it it actually fits really nice it's very flattering and i just didn't have anything like this so i thought it would be really cute also i have this uh little sweater i fell in love with it because it was like a top that was like cropped and fitted and then it had the little pastel colors which i have been loving for spring and summer if you guys watched my flea market vault huh what is that if you guys watch my flea market haul then you guys saw uh me try on this vest i'm not sure if it's vintage i don't think it is but it has a vintage look to it and that was exciting to me i just have this hunch that vests are gonna be really popping this year i've been having this feeling for about the last year or two and so i actually have some vests already that i've been waiting to wear not that i'm waiting for them to trend but i just honestly i forget that i have them but i'm probably gonna wear this one first but just saying if you guys see like any vintage vests or anything i think they're gonna be popping do you guys see this so i actually uh found this vintage hat the other day this is the only thing actually that i'm showing you guys in this entire video that i thrifted but it was vintage and it was just so chic that i just had to put this in here so like don't burn me at the stake but i wanted to show somebody and i wanted somebody to be excited about it if you think it's ugly keep watching don't say anything because you're gonna hurt my feelings hillary vibes when i saw this hat but it's got like the little crystals going down it it's so bougie and it comes up higher in the front than it does in the back she's a little dirty and nobody wanted her at the uh, goodwill outlets but i did i saved her from wherever she was going i won't be trying this on for you guys because i look like a pure idiot with my bangs out and this bucket hat on but i've been really into um i've always liked bucket hats but i've been really into the ones like this that make you look like a three-year-old toddler i love the lack of colors ones but they're really pricey so i actually found this one and i love that it had the little sunflowers and of course or da daisies my bad it's gonna look good when I like sit out in the sun and do whatever I be doing that involves sunshine. Um, I'm obsessed with like the 
colorful uh louis vuitton i'll say swap but i didn't want to buy it because it's like more expensive than the brown one that i have and so i was like coach definitely has a rainbow colorway that i remember somewhere in the back of my mind in the early 2000s and so i basically went on depop and found this so i know they have them on depop macari wherever else y'all go uh so if you're looking for one of these just find the seller just type in rainbow coach bag and boom that's how i got this you guys know how i feel about img uh, and these are not img uh, okay i'm gonna tell you now so i figured i would try out a dupe version of the img uh, halo pants and as an owner of the halo pants by actual img uh, um these are quite different okay my img uh, pants they're heavy and they're really nice quality a little bit see-through but they actually look really good on you just have to be careful with your underwear my biggest difference is the strings now you guys know i'm good for loving things with long strings and on my actual img pants the strings are really long they're really long these are a little short so i can't wrap it around me as much as with my actual img pants but they get the job done for having the white version as well i told you guys i'm buying my color i'm finally uh investing in color in my closet and so the best place to me to get my jeans from is zara uh thrift store jeans actually just rarely fit me very well um but zara does a really good job at finding not finding but having jeans that fit me in the waist they always just have really nice quality jeans when i wore these pants my boyfriend told me i dressed like a scooby-doo character but i really don't care and that was actually a compliment if you ask me because um what era do i love so thank you because that's what i was going for anyways more img knockoffs i've been seeing these pants that img dropped and i was like wow i want those pants and um clearly all the money y'all see me spent i didn't want to buy the img ones i may still do it though just because these actually come a little short on me but they're just so cute they lace up in the front and on the sides, it's a little risque. So you just gotta be careful with what underwear you wear, but they're really pretty, definitely a statement. I still may get the IMG ones because I want them to fit. But I also might still wear these. If I wear them with like some platform boots, we'll be okay. We have these buttes right here. Um, I also found these at Zara, you can tell from the shape because they have that shape that I love. They come out like kind of like culottes, but they're like way longer. They are just, 70s if i've ever seen 70s but yeah these pants so cute they make my heart very happy and i love them but let me throw on my glasses that is the haul i hope you guys loved it like i said i do not normally buy this many things this is the biggest haul i've ever done in my life you guys will not see another one this big until probably fall if that but i thank you so much for watching you can check me out on my socials on my instagram on my tiktok um wherever else i may be i don't know i will see you guys next time on my channel hope you loved it Mwah. bye bye